welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is episode 155. We're starting a whole new campaign. For the next two months, it's going to be the Spanish-American War, as voted on by you, the listeners, on Instagram stories. If you're not following on Instagram, you probably should. Tales of Honor Podcast, that's the handle. And it's being brought to you by the good people over at Combat Flip Flops. Christmas season is here, or holiday shopping. Whatever holiday you celebrate, do it by buying gifts from... Combat Flip Flops. Head on over to CombatFlipFlops.com. Check out all the great stuff they have going on over there. They have jewelry that's made out of unexploded landmines. Uh, They have some great t-shirts. Obviously, they have flip flops that are amazing no matter what time of year it is. And they have a great mission. More importantly, the money that you spend over there goes to help educate Afghan women and girls. It also goes to help remove more of those unexploded landmines and other ordnance. And it also goes to helping support the members and the families of the special operations community. Combat flip-flops, helping flip the view on how wars are won, business, not bullets. So as I've done in the past with new campaigns, I try to give a brief history lesson of the campaign, just in case you don't know or need a refresher course. The Spanish-American War is one that's not quite talked about too much, so you may not even remember much of it from high school history. And if some of it still doesn't make sense or you want to learn more, please just be a normal person and either read a book or use the internet. (laughs) So here's a quick history of the Spanish-American War. Essentially, it was a war over Cuba's independence. The Spanish Empire reached into the Caribbean, and at the time, it did include Cuba. Cuba wanted its independence, and it was already fighting with Spain. The United States had been looking to expand its territories and decided to side with Cuba as this could potentially be useful for future trade shipping. From the 21st of April, 1898, to the 13th of August, 1898, battles were fought in Cuba, Guam, the Philippines, and Puerto Rico. After three months, three weeks, and two days, the war was over, and the result would be the Treaty of Paris. This made Spain relinquish Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Guam, as well as the Philippines, which the U.S. would pay Spain $20 million for. And now, a tale of honor. Franz was born on the 26th of November, 1853, in Gross Katz, Germany, to a Polish family. He had joined the U.S. Navy and became a chief carpenter's mate, and it was his actions during the Spanish-American War that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, On board the USS Petrol, Manila, Philippine Islands, 1 May, 1898, serving in the presence of the enemy, Itrich displayed heroism during the action. Franz Anton Itrich died on the 11th of June, 1933, at the age of 79, and is buried in the San Francisco National Cemetery, Section OSA, Grave 83-5. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. I really do mean thank you, and since it is the holiday season and it is the season of giving... Please be sure to not only give a nice review and give a good rating, but also give the gift of telling a friend and some family members about the podcast. It's a free gift. They don't own anything, and you don't own anything either. I mean, it's free. Free is the best. And it's the gift of knowledge. You can see more information over on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and at TalesOfHonorPodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them on over to TalesOfHonorPodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.